If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name is Obi, and welcome back to the Courtside Financial Podcast, where we talk about business and technology. Today, we'll be talking about something that could be bigger than NEO itself. But before we get into the video, if you're new here, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click that notification bell icon and leave a comment down below. Your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. Alright, so I wanted to make this video today because a lot of people are very negative about NEO these days and really worried about NEO these, these days. However, I'm pretty optimistic and I think that the Alps brand, the sub brand that NEO is rolling out next year has the potential to be very successful, if not more successful than NEO. I think it could be more successful than NEO. There's a couple reasons why and we'll get into them in this video. Number one is that Alps is targeting a different market segment than NEO. If you know NEO, they are in the premium space. The premium space is not accessible to all, and so NEO wants to widen their reach with the Alps brand, making mass market vehicles. These are gonna be priced anywhere from 28,000 US dollars to 42,000 US dollars. And so that means that more people who couldn't afford to buy a luxury car such as a NEO can now afford to buy um, and Alps. This target market represents a large customer base who is seeking more cost, more affordable options. And this certainly makes Alps appealing to a broader audience than Neo. The next thing here is number two, Alps has access to Neo's technology and the cars will most likely have battery as a service, which represents the decoupling of the battery from the sale of the car. Now, why is this important? Uh, and why am I putting this as number two right after number one? Because we already mentioned that Alps is going to be around the 28,000 to 42,000 price point, but when customers choose battery as a service, the option to rent the battery but own the car, it also makes the purchase price of the car around $10,000 cheaper. So we're already talking about a brand that's going to be pretty affordable and now by using battery as a service, which is something that NEO does, you'll be able to reduce the cost of the car even more. I see this as something that can really crush the competition on the lower end. And when you couple that with tax exemptions and government subsidies and all the things of that sort, it just makes it a no brainer for many. And I definitely see this having the potential to help NEO reach scale and really outsell the competition. Now, number three is piggybacking off of number two. There's going to be increased demand because of battery upgrades. Now, battery is a service, like we mentioned, decoupling the battery and the car. A lot of reasons why people aren't buying electric vehicles today is because they're worried that newer, better battery technology is coming out over time. And so if they wait, they can get more range and the cost of electric vehicles is also going down over time. Um, that's another reason, but that's besides the point I'm trying to make here. The point that I'm trying to make here is that when newer batteries come out that are going to provide more range for a given vehicle, anyone who is part of the neo or the alps brand is going to be able to upgrade to those batteries and that's going to provide more revenue for neo so that's a good thing but it's also going to incentivize people to buy the car right now because they're not range locked and they don't have to worry about battery degradation as much as somebody who purchases outside of these two brands alps and neo and now we're going to piggyback off of that again to point number four is resale value preservation. So obviously electric vehicles don't depreciate as much as ICE vehicles, but they still do depreciate. And one of the main reasons for that is because of battery degradation. Over time, you know, batteries don't have as much range as they had when they started. But being able to swap out to a newer battery whenever the newest battery comes out means that customers don't have to worry about battery degradation. And some people don't even own the battery in the first place. They just rent it through battery as a service. So that means that consumers of the Alps brand can feel really happy with their purchase, knowing that it's going to hold its resale value pretty well 
well, at least it's likely to hold its resale value pretty well because the battery is not tied to the car. Reason number five is market differentiation. Similar to the relationship between Volkswagen and Audi, the Alps brand is going to be a sub brand of Neo that operates completely independently and it's going to have its own um, R&D and management as well. This will allow Alps to carve out its own niche and attract its own set of consumers. Consumers who are looking for alternative options within the Neo ecosystem. Reason number six is historical precedence in the automotive industry. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, Neo's kind of done things backwards, in my opinion. They released the luxury vehicle before they released the mass market vehicle. Now, if you look at other companies and if you look at the past, which can oftentimes be a good, a good indicator of the future, Toyota has always sold more vehicles than Lexus. Ford has always sold more vehicles than Lincoln. Honda has always sold more vehicles than Acura. So you can put two and two together and tell me what does that say about Alps? and Neo. A wider market just means more sales. It's common sense. So anyways, by effectively targeting a specific market and leveraging battery as a service, but also providing value to consumers, I think that Alps has the potential, the potential to be very successful, if not more successful than Neo. It's competitive pricing, battery upgrade options, and preservation of resale value set it apart from a lot of the competition. And so it makes it an appealing option for consumers who are looking for affordable, future-proofed vehicles. That's going to be it for this one. Definitely want to know what you guys think. I think this is huge. This is definitely a huge consideration for Neil's future. And if you don't know that, you need to know now. But anyways, like I said, wrapping up here, I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below and click the notification bell icon. Thank you.